So, I've got something to tell you, everybody. We've joined van life. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Jamie. When I'm not in the editing suite, I do a bit of adventure, a bit of sailing and powerboating, and really love getting away in our camper snowy. Join me, my wife, Sarah, and our boy, Taylor, in what I call my raw video blog. So it's a rainy morning, really cold, but we're going to Weymouth campsite, is it, Ali? Yeah. Um, which is about an hour and a half drive. No, no, about two hour drive from where we live. We're, uh, it's our first night and we're going to try the van out. We've, we've been using it quite a lot, day trips, but this is our first overnighter. And um, hopefully it's all uh, packed up to the rafters, isn't it, back here? And um, yeah, hopefully everything works. We shall see. So we're just driving through the new forest now, just leaving home. And as you can see, it's pretty rainy. It's very cold and there's a chance of snow. So we thought, yeah, why not? Let's stay in the van overnight for the first time and freeze our butts off. I don't know if we did mention that we are actually going to Durdle Door first. And we're gonna have a nice hike um, around Durdle Door. Um, I've got the camera, maybe get some pictures, I don't know. Um, see what it's like and then we're going down to Weymouth to camp so um, we shall show you some um, we'll take you along with us Cruise ships. Oh my god. Not too busy. Like it. All the cruise ships up there, anchored. Because of Covid, no one's going on any cruises anymore. So, we're walking down quite a steep path, down to uh, Durdle Door. Proper freezing, as you can tell by the attire. Um, the wife nicely got me this nice jacket um, for Christmas, which we're trying out. And it's like a, basically like you're just living in a sleeping bag. So great. And, um, Loads of cruise ships in the bay because of COVID. Obviously, no one's going on cruise ships anymore, but it's uh, bloody gorgeous. Have a look at this.
filming? I'm filming. So we are between Lulworth Cove and well, Dodle Door. Yeah. Just have a little coffee. And um, Taylor doesn't want to go back down, so we probably just stay out there and then head back to the van and um, have some lunch, I think. What do you think, Sarah? I think that's a great idea. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it, honey? Really good. I really, really enjoyed that. My legs are aching now, though. Are they? Yeah. Lunch time? Yes. So, Sarah, what have we got for lunch? So, Although we're having coffee first. Yep, yeah, tea and coffee first after our walk. Taylor's having a wrap pizza, which he has every day. And we have tomato and basil soup. Very nice. Oh, and toast and maybe a cheese wrap for you. So we've left um, Durdle Door, which is very nice actually, we had lunch there, and um, we're heading off to the campsite for tonight for our trial first sleepover in the, in the van, so um, yeah, hopefully she'll be fine. So we're parked up, all good, campsite. Um, the charging cable, we plug the charging cable in, but I think we need, because the, the thing is there, um, so I think we're gonna need a, a longer cable or an extension. But that's what this is all about, testing what we need and what we, uh, yeah, if anything's gone wrong or anything. I don't know if it's too windy for us to try the awning out. I'd like to try the awning as well. Um, but it's very nice here. Hello, Mr. Horsey. <laughs> so we're just um, going for a little walkies to see what's going on. The van is, if you can see that in the background, it's sort of there-ish, over there. Um, there's a few other campers in tonight, which is good. Um, still quite cold, but um, not too bad, but I'm sure it'll be cold really tonight. But luckily we have heating. So um, we're plugged in, get the heating on later. We're gonna play a bit of frisbee before it gets dark. And um, test going well so far. I'm inside now. The guys are outside um, playing a bit of frisbee, which is really nice. I've got the TV on, which is nice. And I'm going to, um, it's not cold enough yet, but I'm going to put the heating on in a minute. I'm ready for when it gets dark. Um, and I suppose we're here to chill, which is great. Just relaxing and um, have some dinner a bit later. So, yeah, maybe a nap? What time is it? I don't know what time it is. It's all a bit very nice. So, what's for dinner, Sarah? So, we have 
chicken and broccoli that's going to go with this pasta. So like a filled pasta with pesto on through all of it and then some rocket on the top. <laughs> So good morning everybody, um, our first night in Snowy was really good and um, it was like zero or minus one outside and we were snuggy buggy inside because of the heating which is good. Um, not a lot to add really, the bed was a little small, just it's about six foot so I'm 5'11 so I had an inch. Um, to move, um, but it was fine. Double bed and Taylor's double bed was fine because we've got two double beds, and so nice having the uh, the toilet and shower on board as well. Although we didn't use the shower, um, and once we're hooked up to electric, you know everything's really really good with all electric kettle and everything like that. So um, all in all, very good. Although the, the front windscreen, the glass was um, very condensation-y, maybe that's the weather, maybe we need to um, get a, a, a top window open or something like that. Um, yeah, and leave us a comment if you've got any tips for condensation. But it was only the, um, the glass windows. The other double glazing windows on the, around the side, I think they're perspex, so they were fine. So maybe it's just a glass. But um, it was all really good. What are your thoughts on the first night in the snowy um so it was warmer than i, th I thought it was going to be because we had the heating on all night um beds comfy but a little bit firmer than our bed at home but i mean you know we've got a memory foam mattress on a king size bed at home and that's a double bed and a camper so it was good taylor's got his double bed so he was fine um yeah we all slept really well and it was lovely so happy enjoy my breakfast <laughs> So um, we're going, as I said before, we're going for a little morning walkies. Um, haven't driven anywhere, just at the walkies near the campsite. Um, really nice. You just walk down to the um, water, basically. And um, just gonna have a little half an hour walk along the coast. And then all we've got to do is take the cable out, basically make some coffees. In fact, we'll make some coffees before we take the, ca uh, the cable out because yeah. we can use the electric kettle. Um, make some coffees for the journey back and then we're gonna go back. And I think that um, we actually are gonna have to do a bit of work um, until, what day is it today? The 28th? No, 27th? It's the 30th. Is it 30th? Yes, the 30th. Oh, 30th of December today. So I think we're gonna have to do a day or two Maybe even this afternoon before New Year's Eve. Then maybe have New Year's Day off. Maybe New Year's Day we can watch Snowy. Yep. Because she, he, or he is without, without gender, um, is very dirty. And because um, we've been using him for quite a lot the last, we've only had him a month, but we've been using him quite a lot on day trips and it's muddy everywhere. So he needs a wash. And then I think looking at the, um, the news, this morning, I think this COVID malarkey is gonna is hitting us hard again. So I, I assume we're gonna be in lockdown again in January. Um, so probably not use him for a little bit after that because you know, they say that you can't even go out anywhere. So um, I'm so glad that we got to use him for a month or so um, and one overnight trip as a testy and um, yeah so we can really get used to being ready for the summer which I think is going to be absolutely gorgeous in the uh, in the van and I cannot wait to you know visit loads of friends visit loads of places all over the country 
and um, whether we go to Europe or not, I don't know, but we'll, we'll probably stay Wales, Scotland sort of thing and New Forest next year. But let's see how it goes because the world is our oyster now, which is great. It's so nice having a van that we can just drive anywhere and go to anywhere, basically. Look where we are. We're absolutely, I shall turn you around and you can see there's basically um, like fishermen or fishing places. It looks like they live over there. And um, by the water, there's Portland Bill down there. And there's the missus behind. <laughs> Don't bite each other's bombs. So off we go and um, it's been a very very nice first test night, very successful and we've got an hour and a half to go home and then I've got a feeling that the whole country is going to be in lockdown so um, thanks for joining us on this video. Sarah you can um, have a little few clips of us driving home but um, that's it and I shall see you next time. quick thank you if you're subscribed to this channel if not don't forget to subscribe and press the bell to be notified when you um, when I upload a new video and um, hopefully I shall catch up with you very very soon